This is my surf and turf. Fillet steak, king prawns, potato wedgies, garlic mushrooms, and a leek bake. Hello darlings, my name is Stephen Davies and I'm the knob by the hop. I'm going to do some garlic mushrooms, a very easy side to do, especially with steak. Um, take the middle stalks out. These are portobello mushrooms. I always think the best ones to do. I'd have one mushroom per person, usually plenty. I've put a little bit of olive oil. Just adds a little bit of flavor. Again, a little bit of my garlicky salt. Good knob of butter in each of the mushrooms. Very healthy, yeah. James Martin butter. And then I've just sliced up a couple of cloves of garlic. And a little bit of pepper. And there you have it. And just leave that in the oven on about 180 degrees heat for about 15 minutes. I'm going to do my famous rosemary truffled wedgies. Uh, everybody loves these. I have these with loads of different dishes. I like to use um, red potatoes. Uh, these are Tesco's finest. But these make lovely wedgies, the red potatoes. I use these always. I love truffle, it was one of my other things. So Parmesan, extra virgin olive oil, garlic salt, and truffle oil. You have truffle butter as well if you want it, but use truffle oil instead. So, there we have the potatoes. So the white truffle oil, um, it's a little bit more expensive. Again, this comes from a farm shop. This is what truffle oil you can get in Waitrose. So sprinkle some of the truffle oil on, be generous. Again, I'm using my garlic salt. Put a little bit of the garlic, a uh, little bit of pepper on there as well. This is garlic salt as well, but I've also got a truffle salt, which you can use. Then a few sprigs of rosemary. And then I put just a little bit more of olive oil. And leave it at that. What you can also put on, which does add quite a bit of flavor, and I use this on a, quite a few other dishes, is this aromat. It's almost like a salty stock, um, but a little sprinkle of that on as well. It's quite nice. And then that's ready to go. Stick that in the oven about 200 degrees for about 40 minutes. I'm going to do a side dish to go with the surf and turf this evening, but it's a dish you can have with anything. Also, you can have it on its own, um, those vegetarians among us. It's a leek and creme fraiche mustard dish. So, um, cut up your leeks. These ones again from my local farm shop, Burwash Manor. Give them a little wash. Slice them up. There you go. Just rough chunks, doesn't have to be anything special. It's all going to go into one pan. So in the pan, I'm going to put uh, some butter, olive oil. Okay, then pop the leeks straight in. What I'm going to do is, again, use a little bit of my garlic salt. I'm also going to put in, I buy these already done from Waitrose. These uh, breadcrumbs, this has, got, this has got lemon and pepper in it. It's quite nice, gives it a bit of crunch. Just put a bit of that in, put a little bit more at the end. I've got some hot water here, which I'm gonna put one of these no stock cubes in. So literally throw everything in. Big scoop of mustard, Dijon, you can use any mustard. Pour in the stock. And 
and then let that cook for a while. With this I use thyme. I find it quite delicate with the, the leeks. You can put white wine in here if you wanted to, I'm not today. So we just leave that cook down for a while. While I'm doing that, I'm going to use some creme fraiche and I'm going to also put a little bit of one of my favourite ingredients, which is parmesan. Right, and the creme fraiche. This is a full fat one. Put two of these in. These are Neil's Yards one, but you can use any. Some parmesan. Stir that in. As a vegetarian dish as well, you could um, put this on toast maybe with some more cheese over the top of it and grill it, which is quite nice. Or you can even put ham in it. Um, this is only vegetarian. But, uh, and, and, and this is more of a, a, a full meal with rather than a side dish. So I'll leave that to cook down for a little bit. So this is cooked down now for a few minutes, five minutes. Poured into an oven proof dish. I always use Le Creuset because I just like it, even though it's a bit heavy. I put some cheddar cheese on. This was actually left over from the uh, tuna melts for lunchtime. Use up the rest of the Parmesan. A bit more at the time. Makes it look a bit chefy. And then I add a little bit, just gives it a little bit of a crust. I just have a little sprinkling of this lemon uh, and pepper crust. And then what I'll do is I'll put that to one side and I'll stick it in the oven for about five minutes to go with the main course later on. This evening with the surf and turf, I'm gonna use black tiger prawns from Vietnam. I actually got these from Tesco's. They were uh, frozen in little boxes. Um, but yes, that's what I'm gonna use tonight. I'm gonna cook them in uh, garlic butter. A couple of garlic cloves, crush them up. And then a uh, little bit of butter and some olive oil. Let that melt. Again, my famous ingredients, I put a little bit of garlic salt in. So yeah, that's melting down. Chuck the prawns in. Add the garlic at the very end, because you don't want it to, that can burn. A little bit of a not particularly nice aftertaste. So I'll put the garlic in last. So let's let the prawns cook off a little bit. Like I said, these are nice, large, Black tiger prawns. Keep it simple, nothing too flashy. And then my nice Le Creuset skillet. Half price of Mr. Veg. Crush in a little bit of garlic. As you see, the prawns will change colour. As you can see. There you go. Nothing better than some smell of garlic and butter cooking. You can sprinkle some chives on if you want to, but I'm just, because this is going on top of the steak, it's probably enough. I could put a splash of wine. I would just keep an eye on I think uh, probably a couple of minutes each side, two minutes each side. Once they've gone pink, really, you know, for a little bit longer. It's the garlic, you don't want the garlic burning. And so it gives a bit of a bitter, bitter taste of the wine. So there you go. Prawns ready to top the uh, fillet steak that I'm going to do. I'm now going to cook the fillet of beef, as you can see here. Nice little fillet. I kept it out of room temperature and I rubbed it over with, uh, again, the garlic salt um, and I sometimes put a little bit of Tabasco sauce on it as well. I'm going to seal it in a frying pan first with a little bit of garlic oil. 
a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. So let the pan get quite hot. Could be adding a little more of my garlic salt. It seems to go into everything. So you'll seal the steak, just seal it off a few couple of minutes uh, so it's all browned all over. And then, um, depending on how you like your steak, um, I like mine medium rare. I probably put it in for about 12 minutes in the oven to roast, and then I'll slice it like that. You can, I've got, I was just doing my, my um, oven here, I've got a griddle. I could slice it into um, fillet steaks and just griddle it um, on there, um, but I've decided to cook the whole fillet tonight um, as it looks a bit more uh, dinner party ish to slice it at the table. So, okay, so the oil is sizzling. There you go. I'm also going to have a particular treat this evening. When I roast the oven, I'm going to put some rosemary, but I'm also going to use some white uh, truffle butter. Um, and I'm going to baste it in that um, when it's in the oven. There you go. Sure, it's all sealed. Keeps all the flavour in. Okay, that's what I've done now. All sealed. Stick that on the. a little bit of sauce over it and I'm going to put a little bit of the truffle butter smooth it on you can see all the truffles in there so I'll pop that now in the oven for about 10 minutes Right, so the fillet is ready. I'm gonna get it out of the oven. I'm gonna leave it on here and let it rest for five minutes. And I'll rub a little bit more the truffle butter on it while it's resting. There we go. Let me leave that for a few minutes. This is a little bit runnier than I normally have it. Usually I just chuck the stock cube in, but this time I put a bit of water in with it. Some nice generous slices. So. Cook this this evening is rare. Um, if you want to cook it, I'd leave it probably another three or four minutes for medium, and probably another six, seven minutes if you want it more well done. And the prawns, just heat up the prawns quickly. And the piece de resistance. Always have an odd number, so it has to be three. Garlic sauce on. And there we have it. My surf and turf. Fillet steak, king prawns, potato wedgies, garlic mushrooms, and a leek bake.